What's up mga kap? In today's video, we will discuss about the salary of a registered nurse, licensed practical nurse, and continuing care assistant. On this video, we will understand the, their salary and I'll give you also the idea of the common process to be a nurse in Nova Scotia. So let's begin. So if you are planning to be a registered nurse, their per hour is 29.30. That's the average hour rate here in Halifax, Nova Scotia. And then if you are thinking of licensed practical nurse, their per hour is 19.97. And then if you are thinking to, to be a continuing care assistant, their per hour is 17.35. So these are the average per hour rate of a registered nurse, of licensed practical nurse, and continuing care assistant. So maybe you're asking, what's the difference between these three? So when you say continuing care assistant, this is like a nursing aide in, in a nursing home, ah, oh, sorry, in the hospital in the Philippines. LPN is like the midwife in the hospital settings in the Philippines. And of course, registered nurse is the nurses um, in, in the hospital settings. So in the Philippines, we don't have a licensed practical nurse. But here in Nova Scotia, the, practical, the licensed practical nurse are like nurses. The only difference uh, between licensed practical nurse and registered nurses are giving IV medications. So that's the big difference between, between the two, giving medication. CCA versus nurse, of course, there's a big difference. Lice are nurse, you, you know what are the job description or their, um, their function. For CCA, let's say they do most of the bedside care. So that's the difference. The difference between the nurse and the CCA, the CCA is doing all the bedside care. So there's no medications, there's no uh, all care. So when you say bed care, bath, change of pad, that's the function of a CCA. So there's a big difference if you're a registered nurse and you're CCA. Um, LPN and CCA, there's a big difference also because um, LPN is more on nursing, except there's no med IV medication. They give medication, oral and top, oral, more on oral meds, but there's no IV medications. Um, but it's a case-to-case -case basis. Every hospital, every institution is different. But the general um, understanding of the job description of this tree. So anyway, the question now is how to be a registered nurse or what will be my advice um, Advice to be a registered nurse in Nova Scotia? The first thing that you need to do, understand is even though you are a nurse for a long time, even though you are 10 years nurse in a big hospital from a different country, or you are a chief nurse, you are a church nurse, or you are a supervisor, you cannot practice nursing here in Canada or Nova Scotia. You need to undergo to a process. So you need to process your documents. You need to be evaluated. You need to, to prove that you have an enough experience, you're a license, your education through one organization. That is the NNAS. The NNAS, their function, their function is to evaluate, to validate, to to check, to verify your documents. And they will say, they will evaluate, they will give a result to the Board of Nursing in Nova Scotia from your document. We will say, the NNAC will say, um, okay, Joey Moreno have enough experience and then he is eligible to take an exam for LPN. Because of the experience of Joey and... Um, uh, because of the length of experience and education, now Joey can take a one-year course or one bridging one-year bridging course 
before he take an NCLEX exam. So NNAS will define, NNAS will give a result of evaluation depending on your experience, education, um, what else? Education and registration. So the NNAS is the organization body that evaluates your nursing, okay? So they will define, um, they will tell the nursing body here in Nova Scotia or other nursing body in Canada, um, what are the things that you need to do. So if the NNA says, okay, because Joey has a lot of experience, now he is eligible to take the exam for the LPN, just for the LPN. Or jo uh, because of his um, experience and education, uh, Joey, you need to take a two bridging course or one year bridging course before you take the nursing board exam or the NCLEX. So that's the main process. Um, to be a registered nurse, you need to undergo um, a process. What's the process? NNAS. This NNAS, roughly the cost is you're looking around $600 per uh, per what do you call this uh, per evaluation so let's say you are want to evaluate your nursing uh, uh, sorry registered nurse in Nova Scotia that's 600 for the LPN is around 300 to 600 so combine these two the fee for NNAS you are looking around a thousand to twelve hundred or one thousand two hundred Canadian dollars so I will make a video, a separate video about NNAS. I will discuss more about NNAS. But if you want to learn more about NNAS, please comment it below, guys. I really love to share the information that I know about NNAS. But uh, so to before we end this video, I would like to ask you guys to like this video, share this to your friends, especially to all your nursing friends. We will create lots of video about nursing so subscribe to my channel guys i hope you find this very helpful and i hope you join to our uh, forum it's pinoy canada immigration forum and then like my uh, facebook page which is when in halifax bye guys thank you